Good evening, YouTube. It's Tuesday. I hope it's Tuesday. These days are just running into each other, aren't they? They really are. But it's top 10 day, and we are continuing with my challenge. We've done A, B, and C for the quarantine. We've done D, E, and F. So G, H, and I. Remember, you're only allowed 10 items. No cheating. You can choose DVDs, I suppose, if you want to. But you know me. I'm Blu-ray bullet Brit, so I'm Blu-ray all the way. But let's take a look at my top 10. Now, this was a tough one. There was some good stuff in there. And there's no Harry Potters in there, which is very weird. I really thought my brain would have chose it. But I'm happy with what I've chose. Remember, you must own what you're choosing as well. So if you don't own it, you can't choose it. It's that simple. Now, a little bit of news first. Uh, if you go on to Xavi at the moment, you can still pick up the Hulk and Incredible Hulk 4K still books. A bit pricey at £35 a shot, but they are collector's editions and they do look nice. They were released this Monday, but obviously some people have cancelled in the meantime. So they're not sold out anymore. There are still some in place. Same with uh, Jumanji The Next Level. You can still pick up the 4K still book because they are back in stock. So get over there and get them if you missed them first time round. Wish I could, but I'll wait. I think I'll wait. Let's do my top 10. Remember, I would like to see your top 10 list either on a video or in the comments as well. And tell me what you don't agree with as well. Now, my first one is a no-brainer in the Gs, really. You've got to have Ghostbusters. Now, I do own Ghostbusters 1 and 2 as a double pack as well. But it's buried down in the corner there. And I wasn't going to rip everything else out just to get that. But I do have it as a still book as well. Classic film, you know. No, everyone was really excited for the new one that's going to be coming out. I'm a fan of the all girl one, I like the all girl one. It's, I think it's brilliant, but lots of people hated on that one. My second one, slight cheat here because it's a double pack Gremlins 1 and 2. The Gremlins 1 is a classic, Gremlins 2 is just nuts. But this has recently been released in this country as a double pack for like 16 or 17 quid. You can get this on MomoX, which is the German on e German site on eBay, for about seven quid. Hello? No brainer. <coughs> oh, Corona. Not. Apologies. My next one. One of my favourite films of all time. Can't wait for the third one. Really can't wait. Is Guardians of the Galaxy, of course. Amazing in 3D, let alone normal, and amazing looking in 4K. Oh yeah, brilliant film. I'll never get bored of watching this ever. It's just awesome. And I can only follow, really follow that up with one thing. The sequel. This is a, probably one of the only times I've put a sequel in here, but I love the second one just as much. It, it's awesome. Brilliant. So that's four down. What would I choose as my fifth? Happy Gilmore. One of my favourite Adam Sandler films. I mean, the only one that comes close to this is You Don't Mess With The Zohan, in my opinion. But, of course, that's way down the line. I just love the the comedic side of this. It's, a, it's so well done. Um, it's another film I never get bored of watching. If it's ever on TV, I've always watched it. I must have seen it about 90 times. But that makes my number five. Number six. Yeah, the old romantic in me is coming out again. Hitch. One of my favourite Will Smith films. I mean, I, I just love it. It's brilliant. Um... Good comedy, nice romance, and funny. And so true, true. Brilliant. The next one. As usual, I spend years and years looking for a specific title. And as soon as I find the bugger, we get a release date for here. I look for Hudson Hawk for absolute years. Years, I tell you. And less than eight weeks after I finally got this in Germany, they announced the British version. Loads of people hate on this film, but it is one of my favourite films ever. It's such a piss take. I just love it. The, the characters are nuts. The whole situation is crazy. And it's funny. I love it. Next, another romantic one. It's not all violence with me. The Intern. I really think this is an underrated film. I really like it. Anne Hathaway is amazing in it. Robert De Niro is just classic. I think this is a really nice story, extremely well told, and I really, really like it. I don't care what anyone says, 
it's a brilliant film really really happy with that one the next is the one that technically you may have not done but in everyone's opinion it started at all iron man yes we have sequels and threequels and all that kind of shit but the original was it was balls to the wall it literally didn't know where it was going to go there were lots of plans but what what if it didn't succeed but let's face it these past 10 years and they've made a well over 20 billion out of this kind of franchise holy shit um awesome film i own it in a two disc edition i own it in american silvery edition my favorite i own the steel book and trust me this ain't cheap and my last but by no means least is jamie powell's love child himself it the remake of it perfectly marketed in my opinion and to me it hit it hit the nail on the head perfectly they got the exact right person to play the monster the effects were well done the kids were well done the atmosphere was amazingly done and i'm, I'm just annoyed with myself that i have yet to see the sequel i really i haven't seen it yet i don't want to hire it though i want to i want to pick up 4k and I, I, I have also watched this in pure 4K as well. And wow, the crispiness of the rain. Oh, it's just amazing. Such a well done film in my opinion. Some people were disappointed by it. But you can expect too much. Remember the original It was a mini series. It was like a mini TV. It was like three hours. That's because it was three different bits cut together. This is amazing. And that to me is a very... Good top 10 I would take to quarantine to keep me sane. Let me know your thoughts on that. And let me know your top 10 for the, for the G, the H and the I. But while we're here, let's of course look at what the prizes are for this week. Now remember, my words were, is four too far? So we have the fourth instalment of The Born Legacy. And the fourth instalment of Shrek. Which is actually one of my favourites. That's prize one. Then we have Alien Resurrection. This is the fourth Alien film. And Die Hard 4.0, which I really like. Was 4 too far? Let me know. Are you happy to have these in your collection if you win them? Remember how to enter? You go on to Blu-ray Bullet Brit. Well, Peter, Blu-ray Bullet Brit Ainsley on Facebook. Instant messenger me. If you're not a friend with me yet, friend request me and I'll friend request you straight back. You ask for an instant messenger to enter. And it's the draws are done every Friday. Unless I keel over and I'm in hospital, then there are sometimes delays. I will probably get the postage done for the last few weeks, because obviously not much is open. Like half the post office is near me are shut. I will attempt to get everything posted next week. Of course, it will be based upon the post office actually being open. Um, bear in mind, I've just had three Marvel figures turn up six and a half weeks late. So the post office ain't doing that good a job at the moment, but... I will let everybody know when the last stuff's been posted. There's a nice pile down there that's got to go. They're all enveloped up and ready to go. And I'll make sure that these sets are in and ready to go at the same time. Now, hopefully everyone is being safe. I can't believe our death tolls are well over 12,000 now. I really, really hope anyone who watches me has not had anything affect their family. I really do. I, I, I really think of everybody all the time. It's a shocking turn of events. Uh, it gets kind of annoying because I mean I look around, I, I live in a close with a, there's a lot of old people. Their families are coming around, bringing their grandkids, going in the house. So it's isolation shit. They're not fucking doing it around there. They're getting on my nerves. Um, my like I said in my last video, my mum budgies have died, and the one thing she really wants is a hug, and I know I can't give it to her. And some people just aren't giving a shit. It's going to come to a point where I'm going to fucking say something. I really am. But there you go. I really do hope everyone is really safe. I know some of my best friends on here. They so the family are, are first responders. You know, they work in care homes and stuff. So they're they're in danger all the time. Some of the nurses as well. I, I, ser I seriously pray for all of you. I really do. And I hope you all stay well. I'll be seeing you guys Friday. But look out on the Facebook page for any news that comes up on films in the meantime. I'm still toying with the idea of a video 
basing on what's coming out for the rest of the year just so we can look at some fresh dates that are coming out hopefully i'll have something ready for the weekend on that one as well but take care enjoy the rest of your night and talk to you soon